To come out with viral African folktale stories videos for your faceless YouTube channel, one of the most important things you may need to make your video exceptional aside from your script is your background images. Good AI images can make your videos trend on YouTube and get your faceless YouTube channel to monetization early. To do this, you will need to craft stunning images that can grab your audience's attention to get hooked to your video right from the beginning to the end. In today's video, we are going to explore four different AI image generator platforms that you can use to generate attractive images to create your African folktale stories video. Let's get started. So to start generating your images for your folktale stories, you first need to come out with a script and you can do that in three ways. The first way is by brainstorming to come out with a unique script and the second way you can do that is by using ChatGPT to write a story and the third way you can do that or generate your script is by hiring someone on Fiverr or other platform to do that for you. So the next thing we're going to do after writing your script is to generate prompt that you can use to create your images and you can do that by using ChatGPT or by doing that yourself. So in my previous video, I discussed that how to generate prompt using ChatGPT from the story to generate your images. So if you haven't watched that, I'll be leaving that in the, in the comment section or the description section so that you can use that to create your images or that can guide you to cr create your your own prompt to create your images after you generate your prompt we are now going to explore the platform that we can use to generate our images okay so we'll be exploring about four different platforms you can choose any of those platform to create your images okay each of these platform is unique okay so the first platform i want us to try is microsoft being image generator okay you can either choose this or choose this okay the first option or the second option so you can choose that and when you get to the platform you first need to join before you can start creating okay that's why we have join and create so you click on this part button you can either sign in with a personal account or with a work account or school account so depending on the account you want to join with so now let's start creating our images so on this platform we have 15 credit that boost every day every 24 hours so which literally means you can key in 15 prompts in a day that's maximum and after exhausting the 15 prompts you can still create images but it will take longer time to produce an image after you finish exhausting your your credit okay so i have a prompt here i want us to try creating images out of that so let when you finish typing your prompt you can click on the create button to create your images this is going to take some few seconds and your images will be ready okay well our images are ready we have three different images from this platform so after you get your images what you can do is to preview it to see if that is what exactly what you were imagining in your head or you want you want a different thing okay so this is the image i'm looking for but if you don't like it you can recreate again but remember as you're recreating your credit reduces okay so let's try and recreate again and see well our images are ready and i think i like this once okay the results is perfect see okay so we have this one and then we have this one okay we also have other images that i created earlier on let's see um this this and this okay so we can go ahead and choose any of these images so now if you like these images what you can do is to preview it like the way i'm doing it right now let's let's try it again you just tap on it double tap on it preview it then from the preview point you can go ahead and save your image okay so when you save it this way it's going to come out bold but when you don't do it this way from this angle you're going to get something very small the size is going to change okay so we click on the save as button then you select your okay, the destination so let's see well, let's name it create image okay let's make it image one okay so we're gonna save it here 
then we go ahead and save this one too click on the save as button and save it there then we go ahead and save this one too inside the same folder you know microsoft being ai always come with a constant aspect ratio which is always in square but we are creating these images to create stories for our youtube channel and you know youtube has an aspect ratio the images or the videos are supposed to be in landscape so we need to change this aspect ratio okay into a landscape and that should be by 16 by 9 aspect ratio that is ideal for youtube so what we're gonna do is to visit this website okay we are going to change these images into a landscape form or youtube aspect ratio head over to your browser and type ai.cloudinary cloudinary nary.com slash demo slash fail okay please watch the name very well because if you don't type the right you might not get what you're looking for so what you're going to do is to click on the upload button if you, you happen to be here and this one has not been selected the fill button has not been selected then you select it first and then the next thing we're going to do is to click on the upload button here here in this box you click on that then it will take you to your file so we're going to click on browse and choose our folder okay so this is the folder these are the images we created from the bean generator image generator okay so we're going to choose the first one upload that okay is uploading so we're going to click on done okay so this is the image it has been uploaded here now the next thing we're going to do is to check the aspect ratio okay so we have the widescreen landscape that's 16 by 9 we also have the 4 by 3 but we are looking for the 16 by 9 which is ideal for youtube so we're going to tap on that and click on the fill button so we tap on the fill button within a few seconds our image will be transformed into a landscape image for us okay so we have our image ready this is the the one we created right now so this is the original one and this is the landscape or the youtube format okay you can right click on the image like this and click on the save as option then we are going to choose the the destination again so we're going to choose the same box here but see this image is going to be saved in this format we are not going to get it in png and usually it's supposed to be in png or jpeg so we will have to do something different okay so we have our image saved so let's try the second one then we can go ahead so let's browse again to our folder then we're going to choose oh let's see let's see let's see choose this one then we wait for some few seconds our our image will be ready to be so our image is ready and what we're gonna do what we can do here is to also change the or the the aspect ratio from here we tap on the widescreen 16 by 9 then we click on the fill button to change the aspect ratio to the youtube format okay so our image is now is ready and you can see this is exactly what we are looking for so we can right click on the image click on the save as option and then we choose the same destination and save our image now that we have we are done changing the aspect ratio of these images that we created in the being ai platform so let's go back to our folder where we saved our images these are the images that we change the aspect ratio to the youtube format okay but you know it has been saved in avif format so what we're gonna do is to change the format to png format or jpeg but we'll go for the png so we'll head over to our browser again and type convert convert image to png just type something like that in your browser you have different options here but we're going to choose this option the online convert.com so we tap on it the first option then we go to choose file we click on choose file then we'll go to our images okay so these are the images that we want to convert these are the two images check you have to check very well okay so 
these are the two images we want to convert with we select the two at the same time and then it will start converting our images for us okay now we are converting it to png make sure you check this place very well okay so make sure the png has been selected if you are not converting it to png you are converting it to any other thing else here maybe png or all this format then you change it from here but we are converting it to png so that is why it's selected this way all right so it's, it's done and what we can do is to click on the we click on the start button to start converting our image for us so let's preview it and see okay so we can click the download button to download now let's go back and then also preview this one first so we're gonna go ahead and download our image okay so let's see see it has been converted into png you can even see from here another platform you can use to change your aspect ratio is by using the cloud convert so in our browser we type convert convert image to png and we can use the cloud convert to do the same thing so you can go ahead click on the select file option then we go ahead to select the image click on the convert to what are you converting it to we are converting it to png so we click on convert then we click on convert okay so so we're gonna wait for the file to be uploaded and to be converted to png for us this is the image we selected if that is what you are looking for then we click on the download button to download it so if you have a problem with your aspect ratio i hope that has been solved so that is it for the microsoft being ai generators so the next platform we can use to generate our images for our proctor story is by using lesica ai to generate your images so head over to your browser and type lesica k okay, in the search bar so we type in lesica here we're choosing the first option and here we can go on click on the generate button and start generating images from here all right so here we can type our prompt here if you don't have an account you first have to sign up to join but if you have an account you sign in and you're good to go so what we're gonna do is to paste our prompt here the prompt that we used in the the microsoft b ai generator platform we can also use the same prompt here to see how the images are also come, going to come out you have the option to choose the aspect ratio you want so the if you drag it back the aspect ratio will be in the landscape form that's going to be for youtube okay so we will click on the generate button to generate well, we just keep trying till you come out with something nice okay okay so this is what we have from here this is the same prompt we we use in the microsoft being ai generator platform so if you want this kind of images then you can go for the lesica ai all right so we have these images that that we can choose from so if you're okay with it you just click on the download button from here and you download your image so you can choose the destination or if there's no option then you just download it to be saved in your downloads okay so this this is another platform you can use to generate your images the next platform you can use to generate your image is leonardo ai so in our browser we're going to type leonardo leonardo ai so we tap on it we're going to choose the first option and for leonardo even if you have an account you still have to just click on the create account button and it will still sign you in automatically if you already have an account but if you don't have an account then you have to create one one. so we click on the create button from here then what we're gonna do is to scroll down from here to select our dimensions so we're gonna go ahead and choose the youtube aspect ratio okay that's 16 by 9 and then we click on the padlock here to lock our prompt so that it doesn't change while we are creating other images okay we want it to be fixed while we create other images we also have the option to choose the number of images we want at a goal so we can choose four at a goal so we are going to clean the prompt in the text box here and paste our new prompt in here so now let's click on the generate button to generate our images and see this images does not describe what i have in the prompt so you have to be very careful the kind of images you are generating okay 
sometimes you can get your images well sometimes you don't get what you are looking for i think that's why i always like the being image generator platform so you can see only thing you have to do about the being image generator is by converting your images to youtube aspect ratio visiting different platforms you can see the process before you can be able to get the kind of images you're looking for so when you look at a prompt very well see we said it generate evil princess in her 20s dress in african traditional dressing bees in the hair on neck arms and legs lost in the village forest looking worried talking to a dwarf in the forest the foot of the dwarf should face opposite direction the dwarf should be should be dark chocolate okay so wonder this about this doesn't look there is no princess here and there is no dwarf something like, there's nothing like dwarf here so it has given us different thing all together so we can click on create again to see if it's going to give us different things so we just click on create again to see so in creating your photo stories you can try different platform if you are using a particular platform and it's not giving you the kind of image you are looking for you can change to create different images so i think it's still not giving me what i'm looking for it's totally different from what i requested for so we are not going to take these images we are not going to accept this unless you want to use it for something different then you can go ahead and download but i'm not going to use that but you can use Use that to create different images so let's see so let's just go with this and see what it's going to create for us i think if you make it too complicated or complex you are not going to get different thing but if you make it simple you are going to get your simple images to work with okay so you just have to be smart about it and then know which platform you're going to use to create your images okay we have other platform that you can also use to create your images like the deep ai.org you can also use to create your images so this is the same prompt i i pasted here to generate my images and one thing i like about this ai platform is that there are other prompts there that gives you the idea of the kind of prompts you want to create so i hope you enjoyed today's video you now know which platform you're going to use to create your photo stories we have the the being ai image generator we also have the leonardo we also have lesica we also have the deep ai and other platform that you can use to generate your images for your folktales so keep trying your hands on all those image generators platform and then you know which platform you want to use to create your images so after creating all these images the next step is to start creating your videos and i've got you covered so we, if you haven't watched the previous video on how to create fractals videos from start to the end that will be popping up after watching this video go click on it watch to the end do not skip any part if you want to understand and watch everything to the end so that you can start creating your fractals videos to, for your youtube channel that is going to blow in no time if subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed and also turn on the notification bell if you haven't and then drop a comment in the comment section let me know what you're up to in the comment section we'll see you in the next video bye